Hi everyone, welcome to the 23rd session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about feature scaling using standard scaler. Well, I've already showed how to scale the column using min-max scaler in the previous session. And in this session, we will be I'll be showing how to scale using standard scaler. So let's start. We'll import the pre-processing library and the numpy as usual and array that we have used in the last example. So we'll execute this. And after this, we need to create the object of standard scalar. We'll create an object standard scalar equals to pre-processing dot an standard scalar. And then we'll need to fit this dot fit with x. And then after that, we need to transform this scalar equals to the object whatever we have created we have to transform it so if we execute this two line it says that the standard scalar is not a callable object we need to create a standard scalar so this is and then we need to fit transform this also this parenthesis will not be there we will execute this done how the data is transformed print so the data whatever was there now it is being transformed using the standard scalar now how does it transform what is the uh, formula for this the formula is simple xi means the particular value minus x of mean mean of this value is zero so if we calculate it here for one value minus 400 minus of mean is zero if, if we are not sure then np dot mean of x so that is fine so we'll write minus 400 minus 0 divided by standard deviation of that feature np dot std of that feature is x so you can see minus 1.53 similarly for the uh, for the second uh, element we have to give minus for 100 minus mean by standard deviation in this way we will get it now how do we execute it in case of a 3 by 3 array if we have the array like x1 is equals to np dot array 1 comma 2 our array will be now we have to follow the similar exact approach that we have used in the previous case so we'll execute this and if you want to check what is our x underscore one now how uh, how do we calculate whether this is correct or not now take the first column seven four plus one one plus four plus seven is twelve so that mean of that column is three Okay, if, if you are not sure what is the mean, np dot mean, you take the x1 colon comma 0. Okay, so this is a, for the second column, what is the mean? For the third column, what is the mean? Okay, now we will take for the very first element, first row, first column. So, so the formula is xi minus mean. xi is how much? 1. 1 minus mean. Mean is 4. Divide by standard deviation np dot std of x1 colon comma 0 for first column the standard deviation of the first column so we can see this value matches with this for the second column it will be the standard deviation of the second column and for the third column we have to take the standard deviation of the first, third column now this is working fine now what if we want to uh, apply it on top of a apply it on top of a data set that which we have so we'll simply import the library and then we'll give data set is equal to pd dot read csv the name of our file is age underscore dot csv so what is the content of the data set so it is id gender age and we already know we have to apply the feature scaling on gender age and salary column which is a second and third column zero one so age is second and salary is the third column so we'll we'll apply the exact approach which we have used in the previous case so we'll, we have to first create a standard object of the standard scalar 2 and then here we will give 2 and data set when we are giving we have to pass the uh, feature of the data set so how we have to transform the data set in case yeah so first we have to also define here the features what are the features features is equals to data data set dot i log and then colon comma two comma three dot values so what is the content of feature now feature age and the salary now we have to simply pass that feature here we'll execute this line okay the standard scalar 2 needs to be executed now what will happen now we'll print x underscore 
scalar to so you can see that this value the two columns age and the salary column is transformed using the is scaled using the standard scalar function so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this uh, video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also come subscribe to this channel if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you